Hey, hey, good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, City Sculptor, and this is Manor Lords. We're making our way back into town here past our ore pit and our bloomery, and it's a beautiful autumn day. Just check out the spectacular autumn colors that are in full bloom here. Uh, I really just love the, the visual aspect of this game. Now, as we make our way kind of down our main drag in town here, you've got our church up here on the left, and that's going to get a facelift today. We're going to recover nicely from our clay furnace disaster of the last episode. We'll fire up some clay roof tiles and really expand that church. And then we're going to add a whole bunch of more burgages down in this, uh, this little row down here. We've got a lot to build out. We are also intending on, you know, putting that farm uh, acreage to good use and we're going to take that grain we're going to mill it into flour we're going to bake some bread and and hopefully put some bread on the table we'll probably even paint in some some larger burgages if we can uh, hopefully with some some vegetable gardens or something along that line and then here i just want to take a look little quick look over here as we jog our way over to the to the to planting fields here you can see these are our wheat fields and they're out there plowing those out getting them ready for harvest but I just love the way that they just kind of overlook this little rise here. In a future episode, we're going to expand this out and work our way down this hill even further. But uh, I don't know that we'll get that to, that to that today. But what we will do is we'll lay out our very first barley fields, too. And barley is going to be an important part of our industry going forward because we're going to need barley to, you know, to turn that into malt and then ultimately brew beer to get our tavern up and running and make our residents more happy. So we've just got a lot that we're going to tackle today. And, uh, you know, I just threw a lot at you guys. So with all that as a backdrop, let's do this. Okay, so the first thing I want to do when we come back down in here is, I know I just moved these stables a little bit ago, but let's move them again. <laughs> and I'm trying to get them so they're kind of out of the way. I want to be able to, to do some relocation based on our current farming situation too. So I'm going to drop this stable in here and then I'm going to move this hitching post over here. There we go. So now we've got both of those in place. Don't have a, I don't have a, a, an available slot here just yet, but I want to, ooh, a bandit cap was sighted. Oh, that's always exciting. All right. So the first thing I do is I always pause the game and find out where it is. Oh, it's close by. This is great news. It's in Zviao. So let's rally the troops. We're going to go after that bandit camp right away. Let's just make sure that there's kind of the same number of bandits there usually are. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. Yeah, it's about 15 or so. I'm going to rally those guys to here. And then I'm going to grab the uh, retinue and I'm going to do the same thing there. I'm going to put them there. All right. So there they go. Ooh, another ruler's army was sighted. Let's just see how far away he is, just so we know. I think we're going to have a big head start on him. Oh, yeah. He's he's way up there in Hofstetten. And so he's got to traverse the whole map. We'll, we'll get there in plenty of time. But you can see our uh, troops are starting to move out. And this is always exciting. I think it's fun. I like the, the bandit camp concept in this game. It makes for a, a much more exciting game, I think. When I pull up my army here... You can see I've got 13 in this group. I got 13 in this other group now, too. The more shields we get here, the more those those militia will start to fill out. And uh, I think that makes for a good, strong force. Okay, so we've got all of our all of our troops here. Let's start moving out. So let's just set up right down in here somewhere. And they're going to trudge through this forest here, down this, down this big hill here, across this stream. And, uh, and we'll get there. Who's this? Oh, must be a little traveling salesman or something. Just meandering down along the stream here. The nice thing about taking this approach, only taking part of your troops, is that you've got a whole bunch of people that are back in town. They're still working on expanding the town. They're making their way down. Let's see. Let's watch them cross the stream here. Let's just see what this looks like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They came flying down that hill there. And uh, let's grab the spearmen. I want to set them right here. And then I want to set this retinue kind of right over here on the side of them. And then we can take, take a look at the bandit camp and see if they've started to move out yet. Yep, there they go. They're starting to rally. And then we'll get into position and let them charge us. Didn't think I was going to start the episode with another battle, but I like it. That's fun. All right, so you guys, I want you to just slide up here a little bit, a little bit more. And then we're going to hit stand your ground. And then the retinue, we'll do the same. We're going to bring them in kind of behind and we'll put them in stand your ground as well. Now I'm going to swing this retinue up around here because it looks like the charge is about to happen. 
There we go. Now group number one, push forward. Now group number two, make your way through and also push forward. So they're gonna pivot and start flanking these guys. While that's going on, I'm gonna run back to town quick here because we had those stables uh, come through and I'm gonna upgrade that hitching post now to a small stable. And then once that completes, I'm gonna add a second ox to that one. Meanwhile, back in our battle here. All right, so retinue, you should probably be, uh, you should be attacking here. Let's go. There we go, stab him in the back. <laughs> Good job, guys. Our spear militia, okay, great. All right, so now I'm gonna send the retinue off to grab the, the bandit camp. And then I'm gonna bring the uh, spear militia back home. Shortest route possible. Just bring them right back up to here. All right. Great. That's good news. And then we'll speed up the game a little bit. Now, we we had those people back in town. And, uh, oh, trading post is done. That's great news. Uh, another ruler's army was sighted. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So, we had the stable here. We got the... Uh, my, my intent coming out of the, uh, the beginning of the game was to relocate the stable... Uh, upgrade that that stable to a you know, that, that hitching post to another stable and then uh, I want to take this logging camp and I want to bring that down into this space here so let's relocate that down into this little space here and the reason I want to do that is because it's actually sitting on some really fertile land where it is and so I'd, I'd like to kind of take advantage of yeah, a little less fertile land where it's at. And uh, you'll see this logging camp. You've left all these supplies over here. Hopefully the weather doesn't turn sour on us too quickly, but we got to migrate all of those logs over to here. And then I wanted to show you the fertility here. So I want to show you barley fertility. You can see this barley fertility is so, so deep green here. And that logging camp was taking up a chunk of it. Ideally, I'd like to build in a bunch of little farms in here just to make sure that we're taking advantage, full advantage of the barley fertility that's in that space. So now we've got the another hitching post under construction. We're relocating the logging camp. And I want to come back down over here now. And I want to set my crop rotation on all of these fields. I didn't do that to start. And I'd like to do that. So in this field number one here, this really big one over here, it's not really big, but you know, it's the largest one we've got. I want to go with wheat, probably go to fallow next year. And then and let's come back and do flax. Because if you take a look here again at my fertility in here, I've got emmer fertility dark green you can see that flax fertility you know, it's got it's got a little bit of flax there it can it can grab uh barley yeah it's a little weaker in barley and then rye solid in rye but i i don't see myself exploring rye in this you know in this map now let's set up crop rotation for this one as well we're gonna do fallow we're gonna do wheat next year yeah that'll be up to 44 percent and then i'm just gonna let it go fallow again the following year because I, I think it probably just needs to rest a little bit Have our troops come back yet? They have. So you guys can now disband. All right. So now I'm going to send these re resources to my nearest town because uh, we have looks like a fair amount of treasury wealth. Treasury wealth. All right. Let's send our let's send our troops back. Oh, our stable got upgraded. So let's add another ox. You can see we've got a nice chunk of change sitting here. Now we've got 944 in our regional wealth and 435 in our treasury. So that's good. All of our farms we've set to medium priority. They're kind of going about the business of getting everything set up. Regional wealth gained 154. Wow, that's nice. Okay, cool. And then um, I'm going to take this person and I'm going to reassign them to the other farmhouse because we've got two farmhouses down in here, don't we? One, two. Yeah, let's reassign these guys to this farmhouse. I don't want to put both groups in that single farmhouse. And the reason is because the wheat is sitting in that farmhouse. And eventually they will get around to threshing the wheat. But uh, we're going to make sure that they're all coming out of one house to do that. Next thing we want to do is let's um, let's throw down some burgages. Uh, we're sitting at, let's just jump in here, take a look. Burgages, we've got two burgages that are unoccupied right over here on the, you know, on the far left. And then do we have any up top here? Well, we've just got the one. So... While we've got some extra unassigned labor, these three people here, let's bring some burgages online. And I think the first ones I want to do are going to be, I was thinking about doing something down in this little space here. I want to take like a little road maybe and just kind of and I'll draw this road in here just temporarily actually. And then I want to build out some burgages that just kind of sit in the same space like these other ones do. Because you only get four points, right? Two, uh, three, 
just like that. And I think I want to reduce the number down to two so that you can have two families here, two families here, and you, all, you also have some backyard extensions. That should probably be fine. Let's get those at least initiated. And so as we start heading into the wintry months, it's November now. It's going to be awfully tight, by the way, with our food supplies. And so let's do our first thing here. Let's get this trading post going. Now, I want to jump in here to trade. I think we should look for a food item and probably bring some food in. What's a cheap food for us to import? Let's see here. 13, 12, 12, 12, uh, 12 meat, eggs, 12, lots in the 12s. So I think what I'll do is I'll bring in, um, let's open up a trade route with eggs and then start importing eggs. And then I want to set my desired surplus at uh, six for now, just to get us a little extra food going, just in case. And then, uh, oh yeah, okay. Uh, how's our wild animals are at 12? They're recovering. The berries are, you know, that's done. That's a seasonal thing. Oh yeah, I know we're running out of food. I know that's, that's why we built that trading post to try and bring food in. Oh, let's make sure our retinue is back now. Yeah, they are. So you guys disband head back to town. Now let's jump back down in here. I think I've got somebody working in the bloomery and I think if memory serves, let's just check our supplies. 107 iron slabs, probably good for right now. So let's rework those people, reassign them into our um, hunting camp. So let's get that going. I think we're gonna need to start working this little wild animals herd down here. And uh, that way we'll have that as a food source as well. Hopefully these farmers can get get rocking and rolling here and finish plowing these fields because we're going to need them to thresh that wheat, get that wheat over to the to the uh, windmill. In fact, let's take these people. We'll reassign them to this farmhouse and then make sure that they help with the plowing and, and planting and so forth so we can get to the process of threshing and then on to grinding it into wheat, baking it into bread. So we've got food for the winter. All right, so let's go to our primary star storehouse too. Let's take a look what we see what we've got in there. Yeah, it's about fifth of the way filled, so that's not bad. I think there's some things, though, that we can probably deactivate inside this storehouse. Like, if I go into this advanced tab here, I'm probably going to want to deactivate iron ore, because I'd like that to go over to the storehouse that's over by our, uh, our bloomery and by our ore pit. I think I can deactivate some of our weapons, like spears, sidearms, pole arms, you know, helmets, plate... Those are some things that we can deactivate here because, again, I'd like for my, uh, you know, for my iron worker and I'll probably put in a, a blacksmith. Well, there, I already have a blacksmith in town. Oh, male armor. We can probably get rid of that one. And see the other ones here like uh, shields and bows. And the gamisons are done by, I think, this tailors and uh, the, um, the joiner. The joiner does this one. Yeah. OK, so. I think that'll help with some of our storage in this storehouse, Oop, this storehouse, and that can be cycled over to our other storehouse, which is eh, somewhere around here. Here's our storehouse, by the way. I finally found it. Oh, wow. We should probably upgrade that. Look at that. That's getting full. We're going to upgrade that. And then uh, our logging camp, I want to make sure that he's cutting down trees in the area we want him to. He, it does appear that they are, so this is good news. I should probably build a road here that uh, kind of defines what some of our barley fields are going to look like. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this road here and I'm going to start it out in this direction. Yeah, and so now we've got some fields in which we can we can build our, um, you know, our barley fields. So I'll just start, uh, I'll start in this corner here and I'll just run this out. Can it come all the way down to this corner? Yeah. Well, I guess that's one barley field and that's a half a Morgan. There we go. Let's check out our army, by the way, because that joiner has been making shields. Yeah, look at this. We're up to 20 spear militia in this group and 19 in this group. So we're getting a lot of uh, production now. We finally have enough production to upgrade that church. So let's do that. I'm going to kick that process off. We need to build more marketplace stalls and that's easily accomplished. I've got more space down in here. Let's just go ahead and start doing that. There we go. So that'll allow for how many more spots? Uh, four more locations. Okay, cool. Now we should st start seeing some more little uh, little marketplace shops pop right, right up in there. I've got another little spot back here I can add more in in the future. 
but uh, for right now, that should probably be enough. Let's check in on our church here. How's that coming along? Let's see, there's an upgrade. They've got the five timber, they've got the 20 stone. Oh, they're just waiting on those roof tiles to come in. And I think we've got plenty of those. Let's see here, 12 roof tiles. Yeah, so hopefully they'll uh, they'll get those in gear. In fact, let's go check out our little clay furnace out here. Remember that burned down on us in the last episode. And he's got, uh, looks like one there in storage. And then we've got one family out here still working the mining pit. You know, we'll just kind of keep these people out here just busy just keep uh, doing their thing out there that's just fine and then yeah like i said that church is coming along just nicely a new family's moving in so i think we're gonna have to start building some more burgage plots here pretty soon and then i added a new farmhouse down here in this corner the stable's under construction as soon as that finishes up we'll get another ox and uh you know things are starting to come along well the food is starting to recover we've got two months uh, it's not a lot it's not a lot so i'm just hoping we can get through the winter here and we don't lose anybody along the way we've got five unassigned families right now so i would imagine they're all chipping in and working fast and furious on this small stone church and look at that let's just kind of zoom in here and take a look at this watch this get constructed And it's completed. That's great news. Okay, cool. So we've got our level two church completed. And uh, now we can start focusing on some other things here. Let's expand our primary granary. That's another one that I want to work on. Our granary here, eh, it's, it you know, doesn't need it probably just yet. But, uh, oh, see, this is another one. I shouldn't have had flour in here. So let's turn off the grain. Let's turn off the flour. Let's turn off the wheat. Let's turn off the rye. And let those be stored locally, you know, in their respective uh you know, spaces until we run out of storage space. What's the generic storage that's full here? A logging camp. Oh yeah, we got a logging camp that's full of logs there. What about the other one? That one's getting full as well. Now I could probably, let's just check out our timber and our planks. Yeah, we better get somebody back in the saw pit. Let's get that rolling again. And then we got the farmhouse completed down here, which is also great news. So um, yeah, while we're at it, we might as well just go ahead and add that oxen expansion and we should do the same thing probably with this other one just because we can we've got the resources and it's winter we're not going to be using that farmhouse anytime soon in fact for this spring we're going to be using this primary this first farmhouse to keep everything rocking and rolling so i think we'll i think we'll do just fine there now our hunting camp is starting to chew into that wild animal population we're still sitting at two months worth of food which is Cutting it pretty close, but hopefully all that that wheat and flour and, and whatnot will make its way out of the granary and then down to that communal oven and they can start baking more bread. Now, one of the other things we could do now that I'm thinking about it is, do we have any level two houses over in this area? Uh, here's one right here. Let's take a look at this one. If we turn this one into, can this one make bread? Ooh, no, we got to get the bakery extension. So we'll have to do that you know, one of, with one of our upgrade upcoming expansion slots. So that's good to know. All right, so one of the other things I want to do is I want to drop a well in down over here because, you know, if people are over on this side of town, no sense in making them running all the way across town to take to get to a well if they need to get a drink of water. So let's just drop one in right here on this little, you know, this little water thread that runs right through here. So that'll, that'll be nice. I'm going to draw some roads in. Uh, put this one in here. Maybe have you come down here at a diagonal. And then you can connect over to there. And then maybe I'll just bring this one straight down into here. Okay. All right. So maybe I'll put, let's see, is this space big enough for some burgages? Let's take a look. And then if I go like this, well, I'll get two families and a fairly good sized backyard. So let's, let's build that. I have 101 spears. Let's start selling those. Holy cow. 63 large shields. Well, let's go, people. So I'm going to slow this down, get to the trading post here, and I am going to trade. We're going to open a trade route. Let's see here, military. Ooh, establish a trade route for 140? I don't think so. We're going to wait on that. Uh, what do we need to get to level three? We need another, another clothing supply, and we need a tavern supply. Ooh, that reminds me. We need to build a, uh, like a malt house. We need to build something that we can start making. Uh, here, I'm going to put that right down in this space here. Let's go with this the tavern already in place but we just don't have a uh let's see here industry malt house yeah because we're going to be making barley here growing barley pretty soon let's do that let's put that in there and then i'm going to take this little road and see if i can sneak it around here connect that right into there 
before it becomes March, I better start setting up these fields. So the biggest one I think is this, probably this middle one, don't you think? Um, so let's set this one to barley. Okay, and we're gonna do crop rotation. So we're gonna go barley, barley, fallow. And then this one's gonna go fallow, barley, barley. And this one can go barley, fallow, barley. So we'll try and get as much barley production out of here as we can. I can drop in a couple more barley fields too. And we added another farmhouse here. So, uh, you know, once we get things rocking and rolling over here in the springtime, get everything planted off here, then we can start bringing farmers over to work the barley fields. Oh, uh, an enemy has been spotted. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's pause the game here for a second. Oh, it's the Raiders. The Raiders are near. Okay, so I totally forgotten about that. Let's take a look. Enemy unit has been spotted. Where are they? It looks like two groups of 18, if I'm seeing this correctly. Okay, and where are they in the grand scheme of things? Well, they're a long ways away. Okay, that's good. That's good. That'll give us plenty of time to kind of get ourselves organized. I got two spear militias. I've got my retinue. So I've got plenty. It looks like plenty of troops to, to fend off this attack. I'm going to zoom down here and just kind of pan off in this direction. And then what I'll end up doing is I'm going to make them come to me. I'll set a field of battle. Hmm, probably actually up here in town. Well, if I do that, then I have to do that corpse pit, don't I? Yeah, I'm probably better off meeting them out here somewhere. I just want to see how long it's going to take them to get to the open plains up here. Not too terribly long, so I think I might want to rally the troops and bring them up into this space here. So let's let's go ahead and do that. I want to grab all of them. Have them start off by running. I just don't I don't want them to get gassed. I'd like to have them, you know, meet and do battle kind of out here. Before we go any further, let's pause the game. We can make another claim. Zviao, claim with a thousand influence. We can, we can. Um, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and and stake our claim on. Well, do I want to do Zviao? Do I want to do Goldhoff? Let's just see here. So let's go with rich stone. I like that idea. And rich berries, which would be new, new slow, new slow. So I'm going to go ahead and start that claim process. This will be interesting. Claim, yes. Let's do that. We're pressing a claim, and then I might end up fighting two fights. <laughs> all right, so let's uh, let's unpause the game. We'll get everybody all rallied up over here. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to take these guys and roll them in behind, and then we're going to do this. We're going to okay, we're going to take everybody and turn them all off of run to positions. Turn it off. How do I turn it off? Off. 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 Okay, good. All right. So now I've got all of these units and I want to bring those out to here. Just kind of get them rolling out in this general direction here. And if I can, I'll try and clear this forest and meet them on the field out here. Yeah, the brigands are starting to get chewed up here. And we lost one person so far, so that's good. Get him, guys. There we go. I don't think they have any bandit camps that are left behind or anything, so we're just going to go ahead and make for home. All right, with all of our troops safely back in... Uh, in the home territories, we can start to disband the units. Now they can return back to work. Uh, yeah, and we have new slow. Ah, oh, let's just zoom out here and take a look. All right, so now we've captured these two regions here, new slow and Emmenreuth, and we started off in, down here in Eden Plains. So we're we're making really good progress here. Uh, we've got the same number of provinces now as the as the uh, Baron Bar Hildebold von Baronreuth. So uh, that's great. And then we've unlocked ourselves some. Some rich berry deposits like that, and a rich stone deposit, which is going to come in really handy at some point. Oh, this is great news. Great news. I think while well, we've got a little moment here, let's 
Throw down some additional burgage plots. Maybe one here. Oh, look at look at all of them coming back. <laughs> They're all rushing back to their jobs. Okay. And how are we sitting on money? 411. Not a lot. It's now springtime. Let's check our berries. Oh, our berries are coming along. So let's take the person who's in the hunting camp and reassign them to the berries. So let's go reassign to the forager hut. Let's get our blacksmith. Holy cow. Just thought about that too. What's our blacksmith doing? He's building spears still. Oh my. I'm going to switch him over to sidearms now, just so we've got those. And then our tavern, we don't even have anybody at the tavern yet, but that's fine because we haven't started producing malt, growing barley, all of those good things. Uh, woodcutter, we are sitting on nine months of fuel still, which is fine. And then the windmill, we still have three people in the windmill, but we don't have, um, we don't have any flour. It's still sitting over in this granary. 29 flour. That's just crazy. And I don't, I don't know why. Uh, let's see. Are there some of these that have bigger lots? Maybe this has got a uh, good size lot. We can put in a um, vegetable garden now that it's summer and do the same thing here. Let's put in another vegetable garden. There we go. And do we do the same here? It's not real big. Yeah, actually, let's do it. Let's put in a vegetable garden. Got some veggies. We're down to 206. I better turn off this trading for eggs because it's getting kind of expensive. Pause that for now. No trade. And I'm going to need to get some food really quickly. So let's get another family into our berries. Maybe two more in there. And just start going to town on these berry deposits. A work area is empty. Let's just see who that is. Okay. So that's our logging camp. So that means they've cleared all the trees out of here, which is great news. We wanted them to do that. So let's come back in here now and reassign them down in this space here. I want to clear out... Uh, let's just see. Ooh, I could come down that hill too and, and clear out more wheat. So let's do that. I want to I wanna clear out this space down here. And now we're up to two months of food. We're getting some berries. The wild animals have come back up to 12. That's good news. So we're just going to kind of keep, um, you know, keep picking away at this. Well, we're into our next springtime. Our crops are going in. Hopefully we won't make all the same mistakes we made last time. And we've got, let's just see here. We still got all this flour sitting in the granary, which is down to 28 now. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. And then, um, yeah, so that hopefully now that granary will stop taking flour in. We can get this wheat planted, get this all, all growing for this summer. Uh, they're starting to plant the barley over here, which is great news. And uh, let's see, do I have room in a stable for another one? Two, four, six oxen. I think it's time to build another stable. All right, let's do it. Let's get one of those going. Right here. And then I might as well just put another one right here because we're going to need it eventually. So try and stay ahead of those, in other words. And then down to 15 timber. How am I sitting on logging? I've got one group there. I don't have anybody there. All right. So good to know. And then lots of planks. I can take somebody out of the saw pit for now and reassign them to this logging camp right here. So now we're going to start increasing our timber pool again. We got lots of planks, lots of stone, tools. We got tons of roof tiles. Let's bump you up and see, is there a level two down here I can do? No, requirements not met, but we can down here. There we go. And so that'll get us on the road to get our requirements for our level twos. And then we can start focusing on our level threes. So and while we're at it, let's come down into this space here and let's put in a couple more burgage plots. Let's just keep doing that. We got to keep prepping for the future. And I've already slated a couple more to upgrade as well. So I think that's going to go over really nicely too. So let's just step back real quick and take a look at the number of available homes we've got. We've got this one here is 62%. Uh, this is being upgraded. This one's empty, this one's empty, and then you got these other two that are also being expanded, as is this third one over here to add a second uh, second family in there. So I really like the uh, the pace we're taking here with clearing out and, and getting ready for future expansion. Uh, seems to be moving along quite nicely. And then uh, I, I would think that I got to start thinking about where we want our next wave of houses to be because we're going to start running out of space here pretty soon, aren't we? Wow, it's just amazing how quickly this is building out. And then... Uh, these, I can probably start drawing out, you know, barley fields in here and here and here 
just so that we're uh, we're all set for the future. In fact, I'm going to take my little cosmetic brush. I'm going to run in here, clear this stuff down. Yeah, look at all of that. So we we cleared that free, uh, you know, freed that up now, and we can start putting them in a bunch of barley fields down in there as well. So, wow, we, our farming is going to start to take shape here pretty shortly. That's that's great news. And then, I think down in this space too, we could start building in some uh, some houses in here. Construction finished of a hitching post. Okay, so look at that hitching post there, and oh yeah, this one's being upgraded to a small stable. We're just going to keep building out hitching posts and stables. Uh, I think I probably can run another wave of houses down along here. In fact, let's just draw this road in right now. Come out to, well, let's just see how, how big is a hitching post. That's going to come out to about there. And this road comes into here. I'm going to take this straight up here. Connect it to right there. And then I'll run it across to there. And across to there. Well, it sure has been a lot of fun. Today's been a, a lot of fun, and, you know, again, well, the thing I'm liking about this game is that it's kind of unpredictable. You start off thinking about, oh, these are the things I need to do today, and then all of a sudden, next thing you know, you got banded raids, and you, you got banded camps spawning up, and it kind of changes direction, and so it kind of keeps you on your toes a lot. But we've got the the, the farm fields out here that are, that are growing. We got wheat, wheat, and then wheat. Let's just take a look on that one real quick. That is, in fact, growing now, so... Uh, all of those uh, those farmers now can can head over here and start finishing up the the planting of the barley. And once those are completed, then I'll pull everybody out of my out of my farmhouse and wait till um, you know wait till fall where they can gather the wheat and do all the threshing and all that good stuff. Uh, this granary still has 27 flour in it. Shame, shame, shame. Uh, but you know we'll we'll figure that out. And uh, you know in the future we'll probably want to try and keep our sights focused on getting up to level three and and that'll be that'll be fun and then we'll get some you know some expansion points there as well and uh yeah it's just you know our approval ratings up uh things are going well i'm going to keep the tithing down for right now just because i want to continue to accumulate food all throughout the summer months and uh yeah i mean you know we'll just we'll just keep going and then i think in our next episode we're going to want to try and get over to new slow and start a you know second colony over there so wow just Lots to keep tabs on, lots to keep going on, and I really love the way things are shaping up. So I think that's going to wrap up today's episode. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this one as much as I enjoyed making it. Wow, the rain's starting to come down. It's probably the perfect time to get out of here, right? So just as a reminder, we're a growing channel. And so if you saw something you liked today, be sure to leave us a comment below or maybe even just an emoji for the sake of engagement. The engagement really helps the algorithm distribute our content to a much wider audience. And I do appreciate the help. Now, if you're also looking to throw some additional support behind the channel, we've got a couple options for you. We brought our Patreon page online a little while ago, and then we also have membership options here on YouTube. Make sure to check those out. Uh, just click on the Join button, and you'll see some of the options there. And then over on the Patreon page, you have four different levels of membership options you can consider, each with their own unique perch. So, uh, thank you so much for those of you guys who have already signed up. Your generosity is so, so much appreciated. Now, also, while you're at it, Make sure to chip away at that like button and hammer that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the happenings here in Manor Lords. Whoop, quick save game. And that's going to wrap it up for today. So I'm going to bid you guys a fond farewell. And until next time, good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs>